I heard we're adopting Corsival this fall for student feedback. Can you tell me more about it? Yes, that's correct. Corsival is a new software available in Brightspace that allows students to provide feedback on their courses. It's a great tool for faculty to gather valuable insights and make improvements to their teaching. When does the feedback form launch? The evaluations will automatically launch to all your students at 5.30 a.m. on November 27, 2023, and it will close three days after the term ends, which is December 19 at 11.59 p.m. Can I add additional questions to the feedback form? Yes, seven days before the feedback form launches, faculty have the ability to add up to five additional questions from the Corsival question bank into their feedback form. Beginning 6 a.m. on November 20th, you'll be able to log into Brightspace, click on Corsival in your homepage or course navigation, select a course, and add questions to that course. Where can I find more information about how to use Corsival? A detailed guide is available on our campus Brightspace online learning technology support, Bolts, page, and you can follow the instructions in the screencast. Thanks for explaining how Corsival works. I'm excited to try it out. You're welcome. Remember, Corsival is an important tool for improving your teaching and providing students with a better learning experience. In order to add questions to your Corsival, you'll need to log into Brightspace. And depending on the resolution size of your screen, you will find Corsival on your Brightspace home screen, either right here, it'll say Corsival. If it doesn't, click the More button and you'll notice that it's in the dropdown. It depends on the size of the computer monitor that you have, whether or not you'll see it there or not. You can also access Corsival from within one of your course sites. So if you're inside a course site, just look for Corsival under resources. Go ahead and click Corsival. And when you do, you will be brought to a screen that looks a bit like this. It will show your courses. Here you can click preview survey to see what questions will be asked of your students. And here is where you can click to add up to five questions. You do not need to add any questions and you can add fewer than five questions, um, but this is where you can do it for each individual course. And that option will be made available to you seven days before the survey goes live. You will receive an email that invites you to uh, edit your course eval. But just in case for some reason you missed that email, as of November 20th, uh, after midnight, you will have until November 26th at 11.59 p.m. to add questions to your uh, course survey from the Course Eval Course Bank. Uh, and then the survey goes live for your students at 5.30 a.m. on November 27th, and it remains in effect until December 19th three days after the, the term ends, you will have access to your surveys December 20th at midnight. And when you log into Corsival then, you'll actually be able to see what your survey results are at that time. So uh, it's pretty easy to add questions. Once you click on this button, you'll see the question bank. It looks a bit like this. Uh, you just check box the questions that you wanna add, click save. Click save at the bottom and the survey is good to go. I do just want to remind you uh, that the survey, the, uh, the survey's question bank has only the questions that I have received so far. And because it's an active survey, we cannot add questions to this survey round. However, in the email, you will notice that you are invited to submit a question for consideration. That will be uh, considered in the spring term. We'll reconvene after this session where we look at our results and we look at the questions. And in the spring term, we will finalize the questions that we have for all of the different domains of questions that we're asking in Course Eval. And you can also add uh, additional questions at that time to the question bank. Right now, the options that you have to add questions from the bank are what you see in the bank itself. Those are the only questions that we can add for this active survey but future questions can be added for the spring term and beyond. Thanks, and reach out if you have questions.